All right, so I've got the <clears throat> the van up on these ramps here, and I've got it tilted pretty good. You can see the this is probably straight, according to my level. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to set you up here on a tripod, and I'm going to start cleaning. Some of this is is pretty nasty. But I've got to pre-soak all this, so I'm going to do that with this super clean that I've got. And again, I'm using my uh, pressure tank here. We're going to start from the top here.
see how the you know the dirt gets pushed all the way from back here which is in fair shape all the way forward grass dirt uh, those little tiny stickers plus little bits of trash there's sunflower seeds there's a pencil right there it looks like yep 
and then all the other stuff so we just keep moving it forward and it'll drain eventually and then we can go clean up all the trash that comes out on the ground I've got those mats to keep it from soaking in or anything so looks like it's gonna be okay well, I'm gonna keep on rolling here and we'll get you some more footage alright so here we are for the next day and got a little bit of this line here that I wasn't able to get to what I probably might do is get this uh, plastic piece out of here and just I may eventually just pull this carpet out because I've got to take these uh, these seat mounts out um, I do have some seats for this and I don't know if I want to go back to a passenger van or if I want to go back to just a regular van because it seems like in our area the these cargo vans actually sell a little bit better and people need more of them than they do need the uh, passenger so I'm kind of digging around in here looking to see what's inside I think all the jack tools are there. And I had pushed all that nastiness forward here. And some of it went underneath that uh, carpet there, which I may just pull that out because I think I'm going to pull the seats. And that carpet's small enough I could hang it on a fence or something and just uh, pressure wash it and let it sun dry. But uh, you can see that a lot of the trash that was in there is gone now all the little bits of candy various things like that and then everything's kind of been pushed up to here and you can see it's got a long way to go it's got some pretty good nastiness plus the seats I think I'm just gonna pull them out It'll pull out from underneath the seats as you can tell it's pretty gross and I want to see how clean we could actually get that carpet so we're gonna start looking at pulling these seats out and I've got seat covers that came in that bag right there so we'll see how those work out and we've got some nastiness still in there so we'll probably pull that out Anyway, let's get started on those seats. Alright, so just pulling that carpet out probably made a big difference. I probably could pull that back one out, but yeah, I didn't want to deal with it. But one thing too, I'll show you. This is pretty nasty in here, but somewhere There's a plug in there. Let's it all drain out. So you can, you can see the sludge that's in there. Who knows? Well, that'll need to be cleaned out. So I guess we better get started. All right. So you can see. Now this is the driver's side here, and this is the passenger side. You remember when I showed you that the other day? You can see the stuff. This is just nasty and sticky. Who knows what's in there? And there's there's actually what the carpet should look like, but boy, it's bad. There's a penny right there. Look at that. Boy, that's rough. So we're going to get that done here in just a little bit. But first, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to work on this. Try to get some of this junk all cleaned up out of here. 
and uh, see what we end up with at the end of the day. the uh, passenger seat so it's you can tell it's pretty bad got my short sprayer on it one thing I see a lot of is the seat belts they get to be so coked up with candy and all kinds of stuff and coffee that they are usually full of nastiness and they don't latch anymore spray them down with a little bit of that that stuff from super clean. Uh, let me untwist this line here. Now let me show you what it, what you can do with this this purple stuff. Now this van probably hasn't been washed in a while and it's got, you know, stuff on it from well, probably a couple of snowstorms. But you can spray it on here. Now this stuff, I don't really care about the paint too much on this vehicle, but it will etch a lot of paint, so you got to kind of be careful. Uh, especially older paint jobs. We'll just do a, a quick sample here on how this looks and uh, I'll show you how how this stuff works. You know, like I say, it's called super clean. Grab my pistol here. Whew. That was a rough one out there. That 
Van is in pretty bad shape. So I think what we're going to do, we might even make a part three. Uh, we'll just have to see what uh, what things look like. I've got the front carpet to do and a few other things. I was going to do a little bit more clean up on the paint. Uh, I tried that uh, super clean and it's good just spray on and then blast it off. But it really needs to be, needs to be agitated with a brush or something and it, it come real clean. Anyway, uh, that's all I'm going to get for you tonight, uh, right now. And uh, like I say, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like to. And we'll see you on the next one.